you can interact with the registers of the IO modules using their address. And the tool that will allow us to access these different registers using their address is C pointers. So in this video, I'll go through a very quick review of what C pointers are. So if you're familiar and comfortable with C pointers, you can safely skip this video and watch the next one. But if you are about to watch this video, I would highly recommend that you watch these two other resources in here, which talk about how to handle memory in C and how to utilize pointers in C. My explanation is gonna be much, much faster than both of them. Okay, so let's get started. So in C, what we do is we usually have, we declare variables and place certain values in it. So what you see in here is me declaring three different integer variables. They're X, Y, and Z, and I'm putting two, eight, and 10. And what I'm showing you here is some sort of a graphical representation of these declarations. And of course, generally speaking, this X, Y, and Z, they live somewhere in memory. And I'm assuming fictitious addresses in here. So I placed X in location 0, 2, um, Y in location FC, and Z in location 4, 1. Uh, these addresses are not necessarily real, but they will help us explain the point of pointers. So on the other side in here, what you do see me doing is I'm declaring new pointer variables. And the way you actually declare a pointer is by using this asterisk in, in front of the variable name. So I'm defining two pointers, pointer zero and pointer one. So pointer zero now is points to an integer type and pointer one points to an integer type. And at this point, they're not pointing to anything. I just declared variables of types pointer. I know that they should point to integers, but I didn't put anything in them. It's the same as saying int x and I didn't specify anything in it. I know that something is about to be placed in it. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing first is, let's say, okay, I wanna assign something to this pointer zero. And the first thing I'm gonna assign is and x. And and stands for the address of variable x. So this one here will be translated to the address of variable x, which is here. It's actually 0 0.02, that's the address. So what I'm actually doing as I am making that pointer point to this particular x, and of course the content of the pointer zero, ptr zero, is actually the address, the value of the address. So pointer zero contains the address it points to. So x is called a pointy, and this is called a pointer. Okay, so let's see what we can, what can we do with this. So now what I'm doing is I'm saying, okay, y should equal whatever is here. So you can see that now I'm using star ptr0. I used it here to declare that variable. Now because it's on the right hand side or the uh, the right hand side of this equation in here or this assignment in here, you can see that this now is called a dereferencing operator. So this dereferencing operator, what it does, it tells me, okay, whatever ptr0 points to. So as it turns out, ptr0 is pointing to the value of x. So technically this will be this will have the value x in, uh, 2 in here, and I'm basically placing 2 in the y. So let me show you how that would happen. So now the content of y is 2. So we technically lost the value of 8. I'm just going to keep the original ver values in here so that we can see them. Okay, so next, what we can do is uh, the dereferencing operator, we can actually put it on the left side as well. So what I'm saying in here is go to the point T that PTR0 is pointing to, basically dereference PTR0. Follow the arrow that it points to. So we're gonna follow that, it points in here, and what we need to put in it is the value of Z. So value of Z is 10, so now this two should be replaced and made it, in, made it as a 10. Okay, good. So next, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna say, okay, Z, which is this one here, should equal whatever PTR1 points to. However, PTR1 is not pointing to anything. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna get an error, generally speaking, or you will be accessing an, a memory space that you're not supposed to access. If you're in a if you're in an environment, in a desktop-like environment, and you have an operating system, you're gonna get a bunch of errors, depending on the type of compilers or whatnot. But generally speaking, this is an error. You have to make PTR1 points to something. It has to have a point T before you actually dereference it. Okay. So what other solution can we do? Well, we can say, okay, uh, star PTR1, I'm telling it, hey, dereference PTR1, go to what it points to, it's point T. Well, it's not pointing to anything. So this also, this instruction will give us an error because I'm trying to basically fill whatever PTR1 is pointing to um, with PTR0. 
So the solution is actually to do this, leave the stars out. So if you do leave the asterisks out, what you're actually doing is you're saying PTR1, not, not what it points to, the PTR1 itself, which is this variable in here. I want you to have the same content as PTR0. So basically I want you to have that Z02 in here. So I'm putting 02, so technically I'm letting it points to the same location as PTR0. So now both of them will point to this particular location in here. So if I try to change whatever PTR0 points to, I'm effectively changing whatever PTR1 is pointing to because it's X. So let's see that. So I'm going to dereference PTR1. I'm going to follow what it has. And now I'm going to change it to 5. So now this is 5. So now if you read the whatever the pointee of PTR0 is, it will give you the number 5. And that's basically what will happen. PTR0, PTR1 both point to the value of 5. Okay, for the sake of completion, I just want to also mention this function of C, which is malloc. Malloc stands for memory allocate. Okay, and what I'm doing in here in this instruction is I'm telling it PTR1, which is right in here. What I want it to be, basically, I want to memory allocate. And what do I want to memory allocate? The size of the integer. So take the size of integer and allocate that type of memory of it. So if you take a look at it, what I'm doing effectively is I'm making PTR1 points to a new location and I just allocated this. This actually works in an environment that is a desktop-like environment where you have an operating system that allocates memory. In the environment we operate with, which is bare metal, we don't have that malloc. It actually is not going to work. Uh, as you probably know by now, uh, not every function in C would actually work, uh, especially the ones that depends on an operating system. This depends on an operating system, so it's not going to work in an embedded system environment where you don't have an operating system. But it's listed here for completion so that you guys remember it.